Hello there, welcome to my emergency lockdown hat. I have many hats and I'm probably going to be needing them because this is doing one's own hair in lockdown. Uh, my hair looks all right with this hat on. All you see are the ends and they've got a sort of interesting, lovely sort of lavender colour and they look very nice. However, when I remove the hat, particularly if I part it down the middle, do you see this shit fest? Uh, <laughs> you know what? I had, I had a hair appointment booked for the day that lockdown was announced. I was going to be going, getting all of this sorted out, getting a whole lot chopped off, and I was going to be changing the colour of my hair. I had all the dye. I was already locked down that very day. So uh, I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to touch up my colours. These were, I'll give you some pictures, these were very dark colours when I first put them on. Um, there's actually no blue on here at all. It's just green and purple, but it's mingled to make this sort of interesting kind of peacocky combination and it is really very pretty so I was thinking I will just slap on the colours again they're quite dark they'll colour my they'll cover my roots okay but I, I've had this hair since December and I'm getting really 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 sick of it and it, you know the sun's coming out and I want something different and lockdown is boring and also my hair is so long right now usually like I when I spike it out I oh my god look at that when I spike it out I flip it this way and spike it out and you can see like there's there's no way of me doing little kind of uh, give you a picture of my, my little flicky spikes that I usually do I can't do that with with this nonsense there's far too much going on here so uh, not only are we going to be attempting to uh, bleach ourselves today uh, I, this is what I used to use uh, but I haven't done it myself bleach myself since 2008 <laughs> so it's been a while I was never very good at it I was always missing patches around the back it never came out as pale and gorgeous as my hairdresser gets it however I did manage to get some pretty decent bright pink at the front back in 2004 um, <laughs> so I'm hoping since I want to go for pink this time I want to go for pink with a bit of purple I'm hoping with this I can get it light enough that it's basically gonna go a decent colour of pink and I mean most most of it is virgin hair or it will be once I've cut it uh, most of it is virgin hair and mine does bleach fairly easily or it does when the hairdresser does it anyway I don't know if it's gonna be the same with me like say 2008 was the last time I did this and I was never very good at it then so um, who knows um, and then obviously the rest of it is pre-bleached and I feel like these colours are so faded that even with a bit of bleaching they're gonna mostly come off hopefully uh, but obviously they are pre-bleached so if I go too heavy they're gonna frizzle and my hair's all gonna frizzle and just die and fall out so that's one slight risk uh, which is why we have lots of hats just in case but yes the other thing is I am going to be cutting it uh, now I do I do trim my own quite a bit but this is far beyond anything I have ever done before this is this is there is there is like a lot there is there is a lot to come off um it's 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 gonna be probably about that much that I need to cut off and I'm you know my, my hairdresser can always tell <laughs> she can always tell if I've been cutting it myself because she'll you know she'll when she goes in there she's like she'll hold it out and you'll see that one bit's like this long and one bit's like this long over here <laughs> she's like you've been cutting this again haven't you it's like yeah I, I started and then I realized I was fucking it up so I just stopped in the middle because I knew you were gonna sort it out but now I'm not gonna see my hairdresser for I don't know how long you know technically it's another two weeks but come on we all know that's not really true we all know it's it's gonna go on longer than the next two weeks um so <laughs> god but this this root situation man I can't be doing with it I, I can't be doing with it. it just it just it makes me feel depressed it makes me feel just just you know because the last time my roots were this big was when I was a gigantic alcoholic and I was still dyeing my own hair black at that point but like I just I was you know I was just so hung over all the time like you are when you drink a bottle of whiskey a day <laughs> um, I was so hung over I just I, I didn't I didn't dye my hair for about 
six, seven months and all of this grew out right back to about here. So seeing all of this is just reminding me of being a big fat alcoholic who didn't take care of themselves in any way, shape or form and I don't want to feel like that. So I am willing to go in heavy with the scissors and the bleach and uh, okay, so I guess here we go and I will see you <laughs> when I am uh, I'm, I'm going to chop it first because obviously it's going to be easier to get the bleach on easily, evenly if there's less hair. So I'm going to chop it and I'm going to bleach it. And uh, once that's done, I'll pop back and we'll see what it looks like before I decide, okay, has it has it bleached well enough for me to change colour? Because if, if this just really doesn't shift and it just basically doesn't really do a whole lot... Uh, then I think I'm going to have no choice but to stick with the same colours and just touch them up and... So we'll see. So I will see you when I'm hopefully, hopefully that colour. Hopefully that colour, like on the box. That's that's what I, that's what I want to be, like Draco Malfoy. I'm watching, binge watching the, uh, the Harry Potter movies at the moment, wearing my sparkly Ravenclaw shirt. So uh, yes, I want to be looking like Draco Malfoy. In, in about an hour's time, thank you. So uh, here we go, but my God, there's gonna be a lot of bad hair in lockdown, isn't there? And I know this because initially I tried to buy some of this on Amazon. Every single bleach product on Amazon is sold out. Like, it's just, there's nothing. You can't get hair dye on Amazon. So people are clearly going, just like me, going, I ain't gonna see my hairdresser for the next I don't know how long. I can't live with this. I know no one's gonna see me. I know I'm not leaving the house, but fucked if I'm walking around with the dog shit parting. So everyone in the world is doing their own hair. There's gonna be a lot of hot messes in the world. Let's hope I'm not gonna be one of them. But uh, yes, I, I have... I have my stylish cowboy hat, which I like very much. It covers all manner of shame. And then uh, I also have this, this hat, which... Um, I, 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 this is beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. I knitted this myself, but I cocked up the pattern rather a lot, so it's kind of huge. But that's good because it covers just everything. It just covers everything. So this is what I will be living in if, uh, <laughs> if it all goes horribly wrong. So, uh, okay, okay, come on. Let let the good the good hair gods be with me. Uh, I am about to go and take up my scissors and uh, mix up the bleach and see how it goes. Oh, this is... it just sucks when you've had a really good hairdresser for the last several years. She is brilliant with bleach. She always gets it like pure white. Uh, pretty much never damages it at all. She's so good and. <laughs> Just so lost without her. Lost without you, Mandy. What am I gonna do? <gasps> okay, enough whining. Man up! Let's go and do, do the hair. Take up thy mighty scissors and attacketh thy dog shit parting. And uh, let's see how it goes. I mean, I do own a pair of clippers. I could just shave all my hair off if it all goes horribly wrong. But I don't fancy doing that because my ears stick out quite a lot. So I don't want to be bald. Don't want all my hair to fall out. Whatever happens, just just don't let it all fall out. Uh, okay, wish me luck. Here goes. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> wow, look at this. There's tons of it. You can make a cuddly toy. It'll be super cute. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Well, I would not exactly call this hashtag winning, but it's not completely hashtag losing either. I have achieved Draco Malfoy Q-tip status mostly. <laughs> I forgot about a little thing that humans have called ears. <laughs> I forgot that I had ears. I, I didn't go behind either of my <laughs> ears. So there's that. Uh, also, um, there just there wasn't enough bleach, dude. I should have bought another bottle of splodge, and I didn't because, dude, my hair isn't very long. I didn't think I was going to need two bottles of splodge, but 
I ran out pretty quickly and it was going dry and it was it was so some bits didn't get done like right in the middle of here there's there's a there's a blob over here that's sort of brown in the middle <laughs> so now I'm I'm uh, as far as cutting it's gone uh it's not great it's not shit it's it's okay um, I mean, to, to be honest, even even when the hairdresser cuts my hair, I never like it. Um, be, because, like, you know, wh when she cuts it, I aim it for being flicked out and spiked up, which means it looks good when I do that with it, but then when it's down, it, it looks kind of weird. Uh, so it's, it's just, I'm just, yeah, gonna have to um, wear it spiked a little bit note to self buy some more hairspray um <laughs> but um but cutting it didn't go too badly i mean i took off like a lot like i had a big a big a big beautiful purple and blue ham at the end which uh i've thrown out of the window for the for the birdies to make their nests out of so hopefully we're gonna see lots of beautiful purple and blue nests in the trees um this this spring but um yeah so cutting it i think hasn't gone too awfully i won't really <sighs> I won't really know until um, until I try spiking it up, up and then I tend to just take the scissors to it a bit more and just take off any bits that are too blocky because this is my problem is is I, I don't get how hairdressers manage to like cut it and not have these these like blunt blocky bits in it you know that's that's the problem that you have when you're a total fucking amateur <laughs> um but it, in general it's it's gone pretty pale so I, I left it on the oh my god the instructions are so vague like it says leave it on for between 20 and 90 minutes do you want to be any more vague than that 20 and 90 minutes 90 minutes with bleach on your hair seems like a really dangerous diet like bad idea so I left it for the 20 I gave it another 10 and I think I gave it another 10 so it all in all had 40 minutes of bleach and it it seems i mean it feels pretty okay actually it doesn't feel too bad it's like it's a little bit a little bit maybe a little bit frazzly at the bottom but it's, it's really not too bad i mean obviously this this bit at the front has been bleached numerous times so it's it's doing okay um as far as these green bits in the front like i was i was basically expecting that like yellows and greens are a bitch to get out and i did have green in it before so even even when i come back from the hairdresser like obviously she gets it nice and even she remembers that humans have ears um <laughs> so with her like i'm working with a lovely even base but even then i usually have the occasional little stain left from the color before which is not really a big deal so long as i'm going for a fairly dark color uh now the other thing is round the the back uh i was running out again of bleach and this this underside bit is just i didn't really get to it so much so mm, so i'm thinking what i'm planning to do is pink with some purple in it so given i've already got some bits of purple and some dark bits around my ears i could just pink it and have it kind of fading down to purple sort of round the ear pieces and down the bottom which is usually what i do anyway i usually have it fading to darker at the bottom so if i have mostly like a really loud pink fading down to purple i think it'll look okay so anyway here we are over and out is the q-tip at 1 15 in the morning i will see you tomorrow when i have thrown some dye at myself so overall i'm i'm impressed at how blonde it's gone so that means it's going to be nice and loud and pink and that is the main thing so i i call that two-thirds of a win i think so i'll see you tomorrow bye bye <laughs> all right mate <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to see my new foliage? You might want to put your sunglasses on, or you might be blinded a little bit. One, two, three, blinded by the pink. <laughs> wow, yeah, I uh, I got a bit carried away with the colour scheme because, wow, wow, yes, I clearly did not have to worry about the, uh, the pink not being strong enough. So, uh, yes, this is uh, Manic Panic Hot Hot Pink, which, yeah, I haven't used Manic Panic since the early 2000s because we, like me and my boyfriend at the time we tried it he tried some purple i tried some pink they were just shit they didn't work and i haven't used manic panic since but clearly 
they have improved considerably. Um, and then the purple is a bit of Directions Violet, which I muted with conditioner. But uh, the thing, the thing that I really noticed about Manic Panic versus Directions, um, is that when you first wash it out, usually with Directions, when I first wash it out and it's a colour this strong, I am standing there for what feels like about an hour with the water just like pissing out purple or red or blue or whatever. Whereas with this, like I rinsed and like as soon as it felt like the product had come off and I could take my gloves off, that was it, the water was rinsing clear. And I was like, are you serious? Like, where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? It's not coming off. So that's really cool and that's making me think, ah, oh, maybe this is how people, why people always use Manic Panic when they do like full rainbow shades because like it doesn't rinse off so messily, it doesn't like stain all over the other colours. So clearly I am gonna have to try a bit more Manic Panic because I love this, I love this very much and um, yes, as for my, the bits I missed behind my ears, I mean <laughs> <laughs> if I lift it right up you can you can still see that there's there's some brown back there but no one's checking behind my ears <laughs> so that's all right and um the little bit of, of brown that's up here is, is is like you can see like a little bit of, of patchy something going on there but it's it's not the end of the world it's okay um again nobody's really looking at the top of my head or behind my ears um as far as cutting it I I might have to take off a little bit more it's pretty huge I feel like it doesn't look this huge in reality in the mirror it looks okay but cameras my hair always seems to look so fucking big on a camera and uh, I'm gonna have to do a bit more snipping on this side and also I've had to put this bit of hair over here because there, there just seems to be too much hair at the front so I think more of it needs to be chopped off into my spiky bits but um it doesn't suck too bad it doesn't suck too bad for a covid cut I see that's that's becoming becoming a hashtag covid cuts is, is becoming a hashtag as uh, more and more people are forced to take up their own scissors and mutilate their hair um the thing that kind of bums me out is that I was gonna try I was gonna completely change my hair cut this year and I was I was gonna try having actual bangs in my hair for the first time since I was about four years old um but cutting in bangs like from fresh like that's not something I'm gonna be trying probably I mean if this thing goes on for like you know months and months and months who knows how crazy we're all gonna get with our hair right so never say never but hopefully hopefully I won't be forced to cut my own hair into bangs but uh, anyway yes I'm liking it I'm liking how completely completely obnoxious this is this is exactly what I wanted because uh, yeah I was inspired um, my next door neighbour, I have some very cool next door neighbours and um, she also, her hair changes like constantly and uh, I saw her going into her house about two or three months ago and her hair was, it was just like this kind of pink just all over and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. I, I haven't like, because I've been doing so many like multiple colours, I haven't really just had like a really obnoxious like one tone in your face kind of thing. And while I've had a lot of pink, it's all been quite pastely. So really nuclear pink that's basically just a single tone. I thought, I like that idea, but I, I, I can't bear to be a single, single tone. So the little bit of purple has worked out nicely. And yeah, it's it's hidden all my bits of fuckery because yeah, these bits did not, did not bleach out nicely. And it's really just kind of blended in. I think the purple's maybe a little bit more blue back there where the old stuff was, but overall, I call it a success man. Actually, it looks quite cute. It looks quite cute down as well. Because when it's down, I usually flip my flip my front bit the other way. And um, this side, when it's down, this side actually, I've kind of managed to do like a little angly thing down by my ear, which I, I was a complete accident, but uh, it turned out quite nice. So I quite like it down, flipped over this way. So it's just long this way and with a kind of slice like this. I've actually, actually done quite a good accidental haircut so for anyone out there who is considering chopping your own hair if you've never done it before the thing to do is to be going in with your fingers like this and take the scissors and you want to be cutting above your fingers do not cut below your fingers I made that mistake once and because you're pulling it when you're doing that and you're cutting below it 
comes out a lot fucking shorter than you think it's going to do so you want to just be pulling it up taking off little bits and, and going little bits at a time take your time do not be putting on any like crazy fast aggressive punk that's going to make you go slice my hair slice my hair oh let's get into this let's go wild slice my hair no you want to put on some peaceful relaxing music and go very very slowly because you can keep taking it off but you can't put it back on again so uh, go slowly and, and yeah it's always a, better to end up with a bit too much and think you know what I'm going to have to trim a bit more off of that than it is to irreparably chop it off but at the end of the day it fucking grows it grows it's not the end of the world it will grow back and um no one's gonna see you you're not going anywhere are you really um <laughs> I am enjoying being obnoxious, yes. I, I mean, I love, I love my, my kind of obnoxious Firefox autumn thing that I do. I do, I do love just the in-your-face obnoxiousness of, of the, the kind of like fireball red and a, this is very in-your-face and obnoxious too and I like it and a, yes, yes, it's nice, it's nice to feel like a, like a new chapter, like every time I do my hair a different colour, it feels like a new chapter. Like, okay, what memories are going to be attached to this hair colour? What am I going to achieve while I'm a pink creature, Anna? I like that. So yes, yes, it's nice being a pink creature, Anna. Yes, it's been fun to uh, to dig out. I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know how many of you guys are going to remember this point, because it was a few years ago now, but Drac Macon's, this is her eyeshadow design, the Death's Head Moth design. Um, I dare say her tutorial is still up. Um, it is in, in kind of like muted orangey browny colours, really, but I've never tried it in pinks before, and I had been meaning to, and now that I am a silly nuclear creature, I thought, let's go all out and be a, be a nuclear butterfly. Oh, <laughs> and it feels quite appropriate, too, with, with all the people putting putting rainbows in their windows and things to cheer everybody up. It feels feels quite, quite appropriate being being an obnoxious looking thing that will hopefully cheer people up when they see me. It certainly cheers me up when I see me. <laughs> so there we go. I mean it's so weird actually that my last hair dyeing was just before Christmas and I kind of considered it a failure. I'd been trying to go quite festive and it just came out purple instead. So that was kind of a failure on perfectly bleached hair and then this time having to like compromise, do things myself, imperfect bleaching, have to cut it myself and actually I really love this considerably more than the last hair I had. Um, I really, I really love this. Like this was one of those that, you know, you, you go in the shower to wash it out and I, I get so nervous when I get out of the shower and I've just rinsed it and I know I'm going to see it in the mirror for the first time and I have no idea what's on my head yet and what I'm stuck living with for the next several weeks. So it's like, try it all off, try off everything. And, uh, and I've usually taken out my contacts at that point too, so I can't actually really see until I get up to the mirror and uh, going to the mirror with this one and seeing it in the mirror, even while it was all like wet and like slicked back and everything, I was immediately like, this has worked, this has worked, this is obnoxious, I love it. Oh yes, I feel like a happy thing, I feel like a very obnoxious pixie and that's <laughs> that's quite nice, it's quite nice. While I'm trapped in the house it's quite nice to have something jolly looking at me in the mirror, even though I, I feel a little bit sad that this hair is not really gonna get to travel, do exciting things. This hair was made for traveling and doing exciting things and instead it's going to be it's going to be hermit hair that uh, that doesn't really do a lot. But oh well, you never know. I do I do think this is probably going to be something that I'm either going to keep for a long time or it's it's going to end up being inserted into my yearly routine that the pastels have become yearly, the firefox has become yearly and uh, and I think this may also have to become a regular returner because I love the shit out of it. So uh, anyway, yes, Covid cuts a win for me. Let's hope it's a win for you too because I'm pretty sure the majority of the world is going to end up doing their own hair at some point. Um, Oh my god, the men are going to be interesting actually, aren't they? Because guys, the shorter your hair is, the more you notice how fast it's growing. Like, the fact that, that I trim mine, like, is basically because it's short. You have to. If, if, if you want it to be short and you want it to stick up, like, the minute it grows about that much, it's just, it doesn't do what you want it to anymore, so you have to start trimming it yourself. But most guys, I feel like, don't. I feel like they, they go to hairdressers, but they have to do it so frequently, so... <laughs> The guys who, generally speaking, are, are not super into, like, doing their own beauty stuff, 
um they're probably gonna have to start trimming their own hair oh i really i really hope there isn't like a plague of like military crew cuts on guys because i just i really it works on some people but i remember i remember dating a guy once and he went to the hairdresser and when he came back he was like behind the bedroom door he was like so yeah uh she got a bit over enthusiastic and i was like oh my god and he came in and she just basically almost shaved his head and his ears looked so big and i was like this is difficult because I don't really fancy you with this haircut. What am I supposed to do with this? Like, do, should we just like not see each other for a few weeks till it grows back? Because it's weird. I don't like it. Your ears look so big. Ooh, I'm shallow. <laughs> but it, it just looks so weird. Um, so please, please guys, just uh, rate the size of your ears before you decide to shave off all your hair. Nobody likes to look like a jug. It's one of the reasons that I'm so keen on my, my little pixie ears is because my ears stick out and... Uh, it's, and I don't I don't think it's a good look although I did I did once see and I'm gonna stop waffling in a minute I did once see a dating program where this gay guy was talking about his perfect partner and he went on and on and on about big ears he was like oh, I love love guys with, with big ears like really big ears I thought so sexy and I was like you're so weird and they, they found him a guy with big ears and that was the first thing he raved about when they took him aside and was like how how's the date going he was like oh I love his ears and he, <laughs> This is so weird. So there really is, there really is someone for everyone. And no matter what weird traits and, and features you have, someone out there thinks they're fucking hot. So weird and wonderful world. And anyway, I'm feeling quite weird and wonderful. So I'm going to shut up and leave you now. But yes, I'll be I'll be seeing you in, a, in obnoxious shades of pink for the next little while. And that makes me happy. So uh, actually, because I was, I was going to buy a wig couple of days ago I was gonna buy quite an expensive wig thinking oh my hair's gonna be shit I'm gonna be shit at bleaching it's gonna come out shit so I better buy a really expensive wig to hide in and the only thing that held me back was that it was quite long and it is coming up to summer and I was thinking that's gonna be sweaty so I didn't buy it and now I'm thinking like god like I didn't I didn't blow a load of money on a wig that honestly I'm not gonna be wearing for a while because I love the shit out of my own follicles so <laughs> that's quite good anyway me this obnoxious pixie is going to go away because it's 20 past two in the morning. Maybe maybe now is the time for everybody to go crazy colours because a lot of you, you don't have to go to work at the moment. You can't go to work, so uh, there's no one to tell you natural colours only. So uh, maybe maybe now is the time to have some silly fucking hair um, and just, just be prepared to like dye it black or something afterwards and that's going to cover up all manner of sins. So maybe maybe now is the time to uh, to buy some Manic Panic and... Everybody go a silly colour and that, that'll cheer you up being a silly colour. Walking past mirrors and going, oh my god, I'd forgotten I look like that. It's fun. Do it. <laughs> I'm a corruptive pixie and I'm shutting up and going away now. So bye-bye. <laughs>